Good morning, everybody. Hi. Uh, this is me again, and I managed to survive my time out in Saint David, out in uh, Cornerbrook, and now I am out here in beautiful Saint David's. Uh, before I take you on a tour of the property as to where my new home is, I will show you the household that I was raised in, I suppose. Uh, if you will apologize the chairs being on the tables, we just have the floor mopped. Uh, so, without further ado, here we go. This is Mom's beautiful kitchen, but you'll see a better angle of that in a minute. And down the length of my parents' ranch-style home. Outside. And it's still springtime, so the grass is not always greener. But, in any event, you get a better view of this in a moment. And the Anglican Church, my grandmother's house over there, my uncle's house over there, front lawn, more to the side. Okay. So my bedroom for the time being perhaps a better angle of there we go church Ivan's house is up there and more the front area so all the way over here this is my mother's office this is part of the Goss family library. Back hedgerow, it's part of Ivan's garage. And I'll show you over that way shortly as well. But as you can see, this was my old bed. Affectionate bunch, we. Dining room. More of the front lawn area. The parlor, as my father calls it, with his eccentric roof. The family tree wall. One of our guests who didn't leave. One of the fireplaces. Now, this is a better shot of the kitchen. My mother's pride and joy, I assure you. Bathroom, one of parents' cabinets. This is actually where my mother grew up, in Bay de Verde, in Conception Bay. A relic of my mother's past, a puffin. A second curio cabinet. Another house guest. Master bedroom is in there. Living room. The sun porch. Laundry room. The full basement is down there. Before I go outside in this new video, I'll show you downstairs. Oh, this is more of the Goss family library. My parents' computer workstation, begging your pardon for the disarray, because I'm currently moving into this room. Our pantry, exercise bike, bottle of water, my future bed, furnace room, dad and I put the uh, ceiling up and all that kind of stuff, our furnace. and crawl space going to the other end of the house. So, with the sun porch, I intend to one day build my house up there. That was where the view was in the previous video. 
view from the back lot and the driveway. Let's go outside. Now yesterday, yesterday it was brilliant, beautiful sunny day. Even this morning it was better than this. But as I'll show you, it's rather dreary and shitty outside. So what we have here is our front lawn. We're doing some work over there with our septic system. All this used to be bog and hay. Over there is Jeffrey's. You can see that from the view from my proposed house site up there. Dad's RV is in there, my parents' RV. To the garage, do some body work on the old van, on the uh, old truck rather. That's my old taxi. Car 15 from corner, car 30 from city, before we switched. And this is the old matrix that you may have seen in the last video. Okay. So. We used to have an old shed here. If you notice in the Google uh, Earth, Google Maps video, it used to be a big red shed and the white one. This is now part of Dad's orchard. You can see those fence posts are the end of the land in that direction, and that's the beach out that way. And if you can barely see through the haze, past that house yonder is the cemetery that I showed you earlier. And this is the hillside that I intend to build. Ivan's garage and Ivan's RV, side profile of the house. So, I will take a moment walk up the path taken between my father and his brother's house and I'll show you the angle of the of the site where I intend to build my future home. So that tree line is where I'll begin to cut. The entire house is underground of course and I don't know how well it will show up but this plateau that piece of garbage, I guess, that bag, is on that flat section, and it's all on the same slope. That hillside is basically going to be what this section will look like. I will build here, and uh, right along here will be the front of the, will be the end of my property, where Dad's begins. <coughs> that tree line and up to that tree line will be pretty much the edge of the house, I think, on that line. You can see over there those trees in the haze is where the cliff drops off about two or three hundred feet off into the water. And I'll walk over here to the edge of the flat plateau, give you the chance to see more of the area around. The site at which I'm currently standing actually was the first one-room school in St. David's as of 150 years ago when the town was first settled. My grandfather went to that school. And you can see the fence off in the distance once the camera zooms in. Maybe. Yes, those fence posts through the haze is the edge of the property in one direction. So, camera isn't handling the fog very well. Down to on this side of that house and the road over there by that telephone pole. This lowercase b shaped property is about seven acres. So, another angle that hillside site. It's very much concave. Another angle there. Cottage and Dad's wood pile for the wood burning furnace. Back end of the garage. Uh, that's about it, I guess.
I'll walk down this way to get you another angle, and we'll get a picture of the property from the main road. All this is normally a luscious hay field, and uh, these trees have been here since, well, since I have been. <coughs> um, and all this section, when it dries out in the, in the summer and the spring, is a beautiful orchard. Plums and cherries and apples, oh my. A lot of this debris is caused by the winter storms. Not much I can do about that right now. Not until the end, at least. We still have gale force winds. Let's back in the old van before I lost the transmission in, in uh, January. Beautiful paved driveway. Okay. <clears throat> this extends probably five or six hundred feet to a cliff that drops off into the, into the fresh water of the harbor. That's towards Beach Road. And this is towards the paved road. And this is the driveway to the Goss's house. That is the cottage, 88 feet long by 40 feet on one side, and I think 60 feet on the other side. We're very close to it. My uncle Ivan Goss's house and his professional garage. He's a trade mechanic with my grandmother, Maud Goss, who turns 90 in February. And off in the smoky mists of time, uh, St. Michael and all the Angels, I think, is the name of the church up there. Anglican Church. So, this will eventually be a rose bush. So this is my home sweet home. I assure you it's prettier and greener when it's not freezing cold. It must be five degrees and windy out here now. But you will see this as time goes by. So thank you so much for joining me on my videos. I hope you enjoy the last one with a view from up the hill up there and the magnificent view and the life I now have for the summer until I go to the forces. So thank you so much for your company and your readership. Uh, I hope you enjoy my videos, I hope you subscribe and pass the word. So cheers to you all and I hope you all have a great day. Take care. So here I am settled down here in my new room I guess. As you can see it's uh, in the basement of my parents' cottage. So, you will see, now that it's cleaned up a little bit better, parents' furnace room, wood pile, primary heat source. I'm so excited, I love wood fire. So it's such a nice heat. Again, there's a pantry, and here's my computer desk. A little bit out of sorts. My 32 inch monitor again. Network attached drive, quad core computer, printer, etc., etc. TV that I won't use. And my bed. They're going to have a screen right across here, right in this direction, so that my parents can come down and uh, get to the stove or not. Dad's computer is in disarray, probably because I tore the room upside down. But this is pretty much my new pad. Brief, but to the point. Again, one more step in the right direction towards a transition in a new, new life, I suppose. Thanks again for watching, and cheerio.